Dano. There we is, Dano. Hey, buddy. Uh, you know, I was uh, looking at this guy talking, to, uh, using a metaphor for your stride, like a rubber band. Remember, I, I mentioned that to you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm thinking that you're running up uh, with your running up. Uh, what do we call it? A stance or your technique of running up uh, has some application there. It's like in, in the concept of the making the band longer where then you spring it and let it go don't you think that that has some application to uh the benefit of uh the running up on the ball i, I agree with that and because there's no mechanical advantage we talked about that but for whatever reason for me it works i feel like i get my legs into it a lot more so like you were talking about with the the band that feels like i'm really stretching and getting a good so you get a really longer swing push. you're getting yeah. a longer swing it, yeah and you come back, uh, you know, like I say, I don't know how it works phys in physics, but it seems to work in my mind. Let's, I'm gonna look at that. I'm gonna take, uh, you know, uh, some uh, uh, videos of your swing and uh, yeah, we'll analyze it. Yeah. Okay. Let me give you a little history. Dan came down here from Canada. He started hitting with us. He was somewhere between hitting from a, a standing position uh, and then walking up on it. You know, I, I check with my buddies and, you know, look, uh, it, we couldn't, all the guys I know know about hitting say, hey, there's not a lot that, that walking up does for you. Uh, and, you know, I, I can't see it either, but I've seen many guys that do it real well. Chip Krieger from New Jersey, one of the best hitters we had on our team that did it well. And Dan, after watching him and see his progression over the last three or four months, he, he don't need to hit any other way but that. Now, my, my thought on this process is that when we talked about that rubber band, what, what I'm thinking may be happening with the, the, uh, the walking up on it, he gets a longer swing on it so we're gonna by the movement. Swing here the, the, the negative thing about it is a lot of movement, but you do it well and you hit as well as he's hitting. I think he's got a big future with that thing, so um, that's up to him. He's got to decide what he's going to do. We're going to go to slow motion now. Okay, now let's look at Dan's swing. His back foot goes forward, then his front foot goes forward, and he's in re regular stance and he swings. That's a lot of motion, a lot of movement. And like I said, I'm a believer in the less movement, the better. In baseball today, they're trying to do it even without a stride. But I think that you do get a lot of energy, inertia, if you will, going forward. And, and I think if you do it right and everything goes uh, according to plan, I think it's a lot harder to really focus on the ball while your eyes are moving, walking forward. So that I think that's the negative. But when you perfect it, kind of like Dan has, uh, you know, he, he does it really well. So, I mean, how much better can you hit the ball than he's hitting it? And not much because he's killing it. I mean, he's, he's spot on. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I believe in the artistry of uh, hitting. And if you do, even if you're doing it in theory wrong and you're killing it, you just stay with killing it, man. I mean, uh, look, I mean, he hits it, he hits it head on, his head straight. Uh, he, he does a really good job. He's going to be a good player as he matures. I mean, he's staying down in Florida now, playing all the time. He plays. He plays on Monday. He plays on Thursday. He plays on. Uh, oh, he plays Thursday in the morning, Thursday at night, and I think he plays on Tuesday. So down in Florida, you can play all the time. So if you want to emulate Dan's uh, walk up, you you know feel free. I mean that's your your choice. I'm, I'm not a big fan of that, especially when you're older and hadn't done it. Uh, Dan fooled with it for a year or so, I, I believe. So, hey, up to you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do me a favor. We're trying to get up to 500. Let's hit subscribe and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.